product placement. Hi, my name is Caleb Golden. I'm an independent author who specializes in the dark horror genre. Welcome to my channel. Today we are watching the 2023 horror film Evil Dead Rise. Uh, as of the time of this recording, this is the last Evil Dead movie. You know, at least until they make another one. So we're finishing off the series today. I don't know much about this one other than uh, people have said it's supposed to be really good. Uh, what I don't know is, is if it's a follow-up to uh, Army of Darkness, if it's a sequel to the... Uh, 2013 remake, or if it's just its own, uh, you know, completely unique thing. But I guess we'll find out. Anyway, never seen this movie, don't know what it's about, so without further ado, let's just get right into it. <laughs> what the fuck, Caleb? Oh, wait till you see the shot I got. Hey, that's my name. <sighs> hmm, that was attractive. Ooh, this is a neat cabin. That kind of looked like that yellow cabin from uh, Midsummer. Hey, how you feeling, cuz? Let me guess. Jessica is possessed. Since none of these other friends of yours bothered to show up, can I take your car and escape the hell of being stuck here with your latest boyfriend? Great bedside manner. Hey, Jessica's awake. <laughs> Ew. There it is. Who's the brainless meat? Oh, no. Damn. <laughs> Talk about getting snatched. Oh my god. What the hell happened? <laughs> Wanna see my Jada Smith impression? Damn. Okay, nice opening. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> what comes after year a seven? Year an eight. Oh shit, is that a pregnancy test? Like, I thought she was just trying to, like, pass a drug test or something. Well, that definitely isn't a foreboding-looking building. Tell Danny to turn the music down. Mom says turn the music down! I put it on that myself! <laughs> that is one thing I would never put up with. Kids playing loud-ass music in my house. I'm like, uh-uh. That is what headphones are for. Hey, Bridget. Mom's a nice and we're watching all the Freddy movies in a row. Wanna come over and- In your dreams. Is she not like 13 or something? Like, uh, back off, buddy. Somebody get that, please! Alright, alright! I mean, does this damn mom have to do everything? Uh-uh, hell no. Your damn kids can get the door. Oh, bitch, that's what you get. When did you get into town? I Ubered straight here from LAX. You've been sleeping? You look like mom. Pete's looking like a tampon. Yeah, fair enough. Who's your friend, Cass? She's called Staphne. Oh, hey, Staphne. <laughs> I get it, because she's a staff. Hey, be nice or you don't get a gift. Speaking of which, check out what I got your dad. Is daddy dead and we didn't know? I just can't wrap my head around all this. Or did he meet someone else? Okay, he left. Why didn't you tell me how? I called you. Twice. That was two and a half months ago, Beth. 
I'm sorry, okay? You know when I'm on the road, I, I get sucked in deep, and I'm trying to make cheap tech right now. And if I, I mean, you could still check your damn messages once in a while. This kid does not look old enough to be driving. Like, just hearing him speak, he sounds like his voice hasn't even cracked yet. Come on, Cass. Girl, you go and drop him. Earthquake! See, I told you you were gonna drop those. Hey, how about we don't stand directly under the uh, overhead lights? That seems like it would be the first uh, course of action. Shit. That was intense. Holy shit, Bridget, check this out. <laughs> what is it? I'm with the little girl, I'd still eat it. <laughs> hmm. I relate to this kid because I too like uh, exploring strange holes. There's going to be a fucking Necronomicon in one of these uh, vaults, I assume. Danny! Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Literally. Danny, are you okay? I'm fine. Better than fine. He's found Jesus. Okay, let's leave the ancient fucking coffin or whatever this is alone. No good has ever come from opening ancient coffins in horror movies. Yeah, these are just facts. Yeah. Will you be gentle with that? It could be worth money. And it's moving. That's great. Bam. Fuck no. I hate bugs. Who are you? Beth. Ellie's sister? Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. The groupie. The technician, thank you, sir. Let's roll. Oh, are we gonna get a possessed demon cat in this movie? That'd be cool. You never take the elevator after a quake. Bridget dropped the pizza. Oh, honey, I love you guys so much more than pizza. I don't know, I personally like pizza better than children. But that's just me. And since when does the damn Necronomicon have teeth? I don't like this, Dan. You need to put it back, right now. Mom's not letting any of us out the front door again tonight. First thing in the morning, then. Yeah, I'm guessing that's not quite how it's going to go down. Ah, oh, shit, this is going to be like a recording of the whatever chant that raises the damn uh, dead. If I had to guess, and I did. Now, bitch, didn't you just tell your children not to use the elevators? Uh-huh. Fuck around and find out, kid. <laughs> Damn record was like, no touchy. Whoop. <laughs> it's like when, in Family Guy, when they fucking fall down the stairs and shit. I mean, yeah, I'm sure that's gonna work. God damn! <laughs> well, since you asked nicely. Oh shit! Oh, this is starting to remind me of the damn tree rape scene. No, she's just hanging around. 
Mom? <laughs> there is no mom, only Zool. Uh, you don't refrigerate your eggs? Bitch, you making a damn mess. And all I could think about was how much I wanted to cut you all open and climb inside your body so that we could stay one happy family. Hmm, how thoughtful. Okay, kids, mama's tripping. Let's, uh, go stay at a motel for a little while. Well, I don't quite know how to respond to that. <laughs> What's wrong with her bridge? Uh, Mama just has a touch of the bulimia. <laughs> Believe me when I say we should just let her be. <laughs> the moment she was fine, and the next she was talking crazy, and, and now she's gone. Oh, fuck no. May I pray? Ugh. No. Superstitious bullcrap is what got us into this damn mess. There's no fire escape ladder. I, I could try and get down that. You have to go through 82. Oh, shit. That's unoccupied, right? Yeah, like most of this condemned dump. You I mean, you could just bust the door down. You ain't getting through those old doors without something heavy duty. Oh, okay, fair enough. Yeah, way back when they actually made crap to last. When we get the phones working again, he'll come right back. How do you know he will? You said Mom was gonna be okay. I thought she would be. Well, in her defense, she didn't know Mom was gonna be possessed by Satan. You know, what are the odds? I don't know what to do, Al. You're the one who always has the answers. I'm too scared to even face your kids right now. Well, that's too bad, because guess who just inherited them? I can't believe I'm never gonna speak to you again. Well... I wouldn't say that. <laughs> Mom? She's alive? She's burning up. Jesus. Okay. Now has it dawned on you that something is very wrong with Mama, and that we are not going to fix it with ice, or anything else really, for that matter? Mom? Mommy's with the maggots now. Well, that was just a rude thing to say to her grieving children. <laughs> from all you titty-sucking parasites. Rude. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, damn. Oh, no thank you, no. Well, clearly, if he'd prayed hard enough, that wouldn't have happened. <laughs> Mama's very headstrong, I see. No, bitch. <laughs> well, that kid's dead. <laughs> I'll be with you in spirit on the other side of this locked door. And now she has a gun. That's great. Don't you think Mom looks just like one of those pictures from that book? Yeah, in the midst of all this, I kind of forgot how this is all pretty much your fault. 
What is this, Danny? That's the Necronomicon. Duh. Bleach it? Ah, oh, shit. Is Bridget gonna start changing? And, of course, the little one's gonna be the one to fall for some crap like this. Yep. Well, Bridget's fucked. Girl, she is gonna stab you right through that fucking peak hole. Have you never seen a horror movie? <laughs> Ah! Uh, uh, no! <laughs> Fuck that! Open up and let us in, Cassie. We can be a big happy family again. Cassie, I will beat your ass if you open that fucking door. Open up now, like a good girl. <laughs> Fuck you, Mom. With all due respect. You dumb little bitch. Don't you do it. See, this is why I hate kids. Uh-huh. What did we learn? Sorry. I thought Mom was better. Open the door like you open your legs, you stinking roomy slut! <laughs> to damn. It'll be okay, Danny. Stephanie will protect us, right? I'll laugh if they somehow end up using Staphne to kill the mom in this movie. Now, Bridget, how many times have I told you not to pop your pussy on the counter? We serve food there. God damn. Oh. Oh, well, Stephanie helped us kill Bridget. Okay. Though so I'm guessing it's going to take a lot more than that to uh, put Bridget down in her current state. Okay, but can we admire that throat game for just a second? Nuh-uh. I don't trust it. That bitch is not neutralized as a threat until she is in itty-bitty little pieces. And those pieces are then incinerated. And the dust thrown out the fucking window. This is what happened to Bridget, Mom. Gonna happen to us. I'm not gonna let that happen. You'd be a good mom someday, honey, but... You know how to lie to kids. <laughs> right from the mouth of babes. I thought I should tie her up. Just in case. Okay, that is also good thinking. I want to listen to that vinyl. I've got no power to run a turntable. I can fix that. Since I read aloud from the book, my want to understand and commune with the other side could not have been more misguided. <laughs> you think? Is Bridget gonna come back like mom? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> if we're being honest here. Ah, oh, shit, I forgot about the cat. Ah, oh, she's gonna fucking possess that cat, get it to go through the ducks, and release it into the damn apartment. In creating terror through total chaos. Or Mama could come through the ducks herself. That is also a possibility. Mr. Fonda's kitty hides up there sometimes. That sounds a little bit bigger than uh, Mr. Fonda's kitty. <laughs> Whoop. Oh shit, did Danny get got? Okay, he's still good for now. <laughs> Maybe not for much longer, though. Oh, damn. 
Oh, right in the fucking bicep, too. That had to hurt like a son of a bitch. Uh. Told you you should have put the book back, Danny. All right, true, she did say that. This girl is on fire. Danny. I will swallow your soul. <laughs> swallow your soul, swallow your soul. Call back to the originals. <laughs> oh, she smells a damn baby in her or something. Ellie waits in hell for you and your unborn bastard baby. Oh, mama scissors. <laughs> yeah, again, that ain't gonna do it. Full dismemberment like the record said. It's not surefire, but it definitely helps. Uh, yeah. Like every one of these bastards in this hallway about to become a deadite. Fire escape. This building only has one fire escape. It seems like it would be some kind of violation of some sort. Oh shit, I forgot about the gun. <laughs> nice. Yeah, Beth's got the leg up on you. Oh, it's a deadite family reunion. Oh, now the power comes back on. That's convenient. Oh, no, the elevator's just possessed by Satan now. That makes more sense. What the fuck are y'all doing to your mom? Ugh. Oh, they're like merging somehow, like become some kind of like fucking I don't know what. Ah shit. Yeah, how the hell are we getting out of this situation? It seems pretty bloody futile at this point. <laughs> See what I did there? Ah, well that explains that. Again, I love how the remakes really go uh, all out with the blood and the gore and such. That's always a bonus. Cassie, Cassie, Cassie. Am I dead? <laughs> I don't know, are you? Like, I don't know how much I'd trust that little shit at this point. She could have drowned and is just pretending to be, still be with it. Ah, oh, fuck, I forgot that they have to use that little beeper thing to get the hell out of here. Come on, come on. Now, if it can possess the elevator, it can possess that damn gate and chop your whole car in half the minute you're under it. Oh, what in the holy fuck is that thing? You know that thing is eventually just gonna flip the car once it gets sick of playing Ring Around the Rosie. Oh, you two best run for your damn lives. Ah, fuck. You know what? Screw it. Cassie's dead. Oh, hey. A chainsaw's actually gonna come into play. Come get some. Oh, damn. I've heard of the family that sticks together, but this is ridiculous. Ah! 
Okay, Cassie, honey, I know you're scared, but, uh, you know, Auntie Beth needs a little bit of help. <laughs> when I first saw that wood chipper, I thought it would probably come into play later on. I just didn't think to comment on it at the time. God, that child is gonna need so much damn therapy. Please. Help me, Betty Boo. Oh, I'll help you, alright. Right into this damn wood chipper. Damn. Head to all parts. You know, you really do look like Mom. And you're gonna fail miserably just like her. You stinking horrible Not a groupie. I'm a technician. Get it right. <laughs> Ah, trauma bonds. Yeah, take that damn chainsaw with you just in case. Like, I'm still not 100% convinced Cassie isn't possessed by something. There's been no cell signal until like five minutes ago, and the thunder kept me awake, so I got basically- Is this the bitch that, from the beginning of the movie? Are we expected to believe you just did not hear any of the shit that went on out in that damn hallway? Not a chance. I'm picking you up in 15. Bye! <laughs> nice. Very nice. I'd say enjoy your weekend at the lake, but uh, we all know how that's gonna turn out. Okay, that was Evil Dead Rise. That was pretty good. Maybe not the best one out of the series, but still really damn good. I like how this one really had the balls to actually just straight up kill at least two of the children. You know, if you followed me for a while, I always say children don't die nearly enough in horror movies. I also kind of liked how it was still its own, basically just standalone film. You know, of course it definitely takes place in the same Evil Dead universe as the rest of them, but it doesn't rely too heavily on the source material and was still able to successfully stand on its own, I feel. Like, the blood and gore were definitely good. Like, maybe not quite as good as uh, the uh, 2013 remake, but still good. There were several gross-outs. You know, all the blood and gore looked really, uh, you know, authentic. I also kind of liked how this was mostly a story about women, which is something we really hadn't seen in an Evil Dead movie uh, until now. You know, the lead in the remake was a female, but uh, but the focus in that film really wasn't about motherhood or sisterhood or any of the, you know, uh, you know big female themes that we kind of touched on uh, in this film. But yeah, definitely good. I enjoyed it. Would probably watch it again. I feel it holds up. I feel, you know, even if it isn't the best out of the series, it can definitely hold its own against the originals. You know, was able to kind of do its own thing while still staying true to the, uh, you know, nature and feeling of the originals. Yeah, so yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. And with that, we are officially done with the Evil Dead series, at least for now. Great series, would definitely recommend, and I definitely enjoyed this ride. <laughs> Giggity. Anyway, with that said, all my links are down below. My first novel, A Dark Justice, is available on Amazon now. Till next time, see you guys later.